Hi guys, so in this video I'm going to show you what baby spiders look like. Spiders, like many animals, begin life as a fertilised egg. I didn't have one of those, so the circle will represent one for us. But yeah, it's after this point, it starts to get a little bit strange, because instead of a miniature spider emerging from the egg, what you get is one of these. These are post embryos, or pre larvae, and in the hobby they are generally called eggs with legs because that is what they resemble. As you can see, they are able to move their legs, but movement is somewhat restricted and they are completely immobile. It is very unlikely that you would see a spider at this stage in the wild because they would still be safely tucked up in the mother's egg sac. However, in a few weeks, they will shed their exoskeletons and this is what will emerge. This is the next post-embryonic stage and sometimes called the larval stage. As you can see, they've taken on a much more spider-like appearance and they are actually mobile, but movement is slow and usually restricted to their mother's web. They do not feed at this stage and use energy originally supplied in the egg to grow their first fully functional exoskeleton. This will take another few weeks and then once it's complete the spider will molt into a spiderling. As spiderlings they are now pigmented and have differentiated hairs over their bodies which allow many species to climb smooth surfaces. They also have fully functional spinnerets, which means that they can produce their own silk now. They are also fully mobile, and as you've just seen, are capable of short bursts of speed. So yeah, it's at this stage that many species will disperse from the web. Now they're able to feed for themselves. They will go off and make their own retreats in the surrounding habitat and begin their mostly solitary lives. However, in some tarantula species, they will actually remain with the mother for another molt or two and the mother will actually catch prey for them and feed them, which is pretty cool. But yeah, anyway guys, hope you've enjoyed this video. Just thought I'd show you the developmental stages of a spider from egg to spiderling. So yeah, hope you find it interesting and I shall see you again soon.